There are four main buckets of new features within Autodesk Design Review 2010. First and foremost is PDF and DWG support, which makes it much easier to package design and non-design data into one compressed repository. Next is digital signature support for DWFX files, which was a highly requested feature this year. Also, Design Review has adopted the Autodesk standard user interface, making Design Review even simpler to use. And last but not least, we have included several markup features which I will highlight in this video. So here we are in Design Review 2010. You will notice the ribbon interface which gives you easy access to the most common tools. You may also notice new features such as the Seat Content Panel and the Full Screen button. Some panels, like the View Panel seen here, expand giving you access to more or less common tools. You can minimize the ribbon to gain more screen real estate by showing only panel titles or minimize panel titles. There's also a quick access toolbar with the most common tools such as save and print. Notice that quick tool tips appear when your mouse hovers over a button. Okay, let's move on to some of the new markup enhancements. First, by user request, we have added a quick highlight tool. This works well for highlighting text. Color and opacity can be edited for the highlighted areas. Markups and polygons can also be edited for line weight, color, background color, and opacity, as seen here. And new in Design Review 2010 is the ability to add leaders. Here I'm adding an arrow at the end of this callout. These are all great tools for non-CAD users who are reviewing designs. And because customers have often complained about losing their markups, we have added the ability to lock markups. This makes it much more difficult to lose important markup data, as you can see here. We also added the ability to save a spreadsheet of all your markups, which can be tracked easily in other applications, such as Microsoft Excel. Simply go to the main menu, Save As, and Save Markup Summary to a CSV file. This will save all information such as who, what, when, etc. into one spreadsheet. New in Design Review 2010 is the ability to drag and drop PDF and DWG files directly into the application. This makes it much easier to capture all of your design and non-design data into one DWF file. Simply drag and drop or open a PDF file into Design Review. You can mark up this design as usual. Previously, you could use PDF files in Design Review, but they first had to be converted to DWF files using the DWF writer. But now, creating a repository of relevant DWF, DWG, and PDF files is much easier. With DWG files, you have two major advantages. First, you can open 3D DWG files and view them as you would any 3D DWF file. Secondly, for your 2D DWG designs, you can snap to geometry. Currently, you cannot snap to geometry or measure a PDF file. Please note that you must have AutoCAD 2010 or DWG TrueView installed to be able to open DWG files in Design Review. Another common user request was the ability to validate DWF files, so we have added digital signature capability for DWFX files only. If you open a signed DWFX file, a notification will open showing you whether the file is valid or if it's been manipulated. To add your digital signature to your design, simply select the main menu, Security, then select your digital signature and save the file. These new features are continuing to establish Autodesk Design Review as the tool for improving process efficiencies, communicating clear with extended team members, and reducing review costs for our customers.